long by the shore because we're vibing and vibing and vibing and vibing. And, vibing. Woo -woo! and like this video if you like it. Like this video if you like it. Hi and welcome back to my channel. It's Alana by the Shore. And in today's video, it's going to be not exactly what I was planning because you know how that goes. I've been wanting to do a video like my wedding planning video on some of the most, well, one of the most stressful things about planning a wedding, for me at least, which is really annoying and it's kind of traumatizing, <laughs> to be honest with you, especially when you're planning a wedding on a budget and money only lasts so long and it's kind of it's very personal. But I figured I'd share it anyway. I don't know how much I'm going to dive into with you, but I'll, I'll share enough to give you an, um, an idea of what I'm talking about. Planning our wedding for next September in 2025. And being that I don't have my parents anymore and getting along as his mother, and he's not rich, and I'm not necessarily rich either. And um, I went from working salary to working like a regular early wage position and I do okay. Daniel does much better than me although he's not rich and um, he's not really getting any help. I mean like not so I don't want to down talk anybody or be disrespectful but he's basically any money he's contributing to our wedding is his money and any money that I'm contributing contributing is my money. And my grandma gave us a gift, which is not that much if you think about it. Again, not to be disrespectful, not to be rude. I'm just being honest and straight with you. And I had no idea before we got engaged and was planning a wedding how much a wedding costs, especially in New Jersey. Well, Rita, it looks like you'll be withdrawing four million dollars from us today. Four million dollars? Say yes. Say yes. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. How would you like that? Tens and twenties. Pardon? A cashier's check. Tell him a cashier's I check. I think better a cashier's check. A cashier's check. Fine. I had no idea. And money's been a big issue for us, especially, well, especially with our wedding planning. And I had no idea how expensive it was going to be. And I was like, at one point, Sure, at least at one point, more than one point. But definitely at one point, I said to Daniel, when I realized what the money was going to be, or the costs were going to be, I'm like, we should have gotten engaged sooner. I didn't realize how much money it was going to be now. Why'd you wait so long? Like, and he's like, it wouldn't cost this much, no matter how or when you were going to be getting married, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, So, okay, and now with inflation and money can only go so far and I'm starting to go broke, no joking, and then I looked at my account that I have saved aside or set aside for our wedding account. And then looking at the amount of money he's been contributing. And then I did the math again. And I was looking at the Zola app where like it kind of gave me like an estimated budget of what we're going to be needing to pay for everything that I'm planning and we're planning on putting together for our wedding. And then I'm going to get to the point eventually if I promise. And then, and then. 
it was difficult enough to find a place because I refused to do a backyard wedding for reasons. One, I'm traumatized thanks to my mom and her ex-husband. Two, this is my first and only, only wedding. I don't want to have a backyard barbecue. Also, like, I think I'm worth more than that. No offense to anybody that has done a backyard barbecue wedding. And, like, and then also, like, I have a friend, a good friend who was, did, who did that, kind of sort of, and she's not even with her husband anymore because he's a psycho. No offense, but I'm not mentioning any number of this. You know what I mean? So, like, there's a lot of things to do with that that, are, like, rub me the wrong way. I'm not doing that. But we picked a place that had a low venue fee and was, like, more reasonable with, like, pricing and was local. And even still, everything adds up. And I don't have unlimited funds. And Daniel definitely doesn't have unlimited funds either. And, like, it's, I'm, I'm stressed out thinking about this and talking about this, to be honest with you. And PTSD from this and the money and stuff. And the guest list. And any time and every time anybody says anything negative about our wedding, whether it's you could or you could have invited so and so, I'm not saying names, who said and what exactly, or why are you inviting them and not this or them? Why are you inviting that person and not this person? Anything negative? about our wedding or why don't you have it here but it's already planned like we put in the i put in the deposit and stuff like it's already contract and everything that sets me off and i go crazy no joke like it shakes me and i've had a couple situations a few quite a few situations or episodes or whatever over the last several months related to these kinds of situations and issues and stresses that I've been experiencing because of our wedding to the point where I felt it and I feel this still, still to this day if you don't like it don't come if you don't have anything nice to say about it don't come I don't care who you are and like I don't want to have to explode at everybody that like has something negative to say or has to put their two cents in about stuff that's already been done to all with and planned. Like, I don't want to hear it. And I was chatting with one of my cousins about this and she said that no matter who, what, whatever, weddings are always stressful. And, and I'm like, yeah, and then I'm like, now I know why one of our aunts wanted a little thing because I mean I don't want to a little that's the thing like but she eloped like many many years ago the first time she got married to her husband and I mean I don't even know what the reasons were but I can only imagine like now I understand why some people elope because it's just ridiculous and I said to Daniel the other day and my cousin today and I like sent her a message I was like if I was to have planned our wedding now, started planning the guest list now, it would have been even smaller because the way my funds are looking right now, in reality, now, it's worse. And I'm going to end up in debt. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And I don't want to be. I don't know about debt, but I'm going to be like at the bottom of the barrel like every other person in the bottom of the barrel. And it's depressing. I'm depressed. I'm very depressed. I'm very, very depressed. And I know when I talked to Daniel the other day about stuff, he's like, I don't like seeing you depressed. You're supposed to be happy. This is supposed to be a happy time for you. And I'm like, 
It is what I am, but money stresses the heck out of me. I'm trying not to curse. It stresses the out of me because I've been, I've had money, and I, and I haven't had money, and I've had money, and I haven't had money, and I've been up there, I've been down there, and now I don't have like my parents to fall back on and I don't want to have to fall back on my grandma because I'm I have too much pride now I'm I'm too misindependent <laughs> so I can do this myself like and if I can't do this myself I'm too set to the point where like I'm not asking for help you know I refuse to ask for more it was the same issue we had with our house when like one of the real estate agents I'm not gonna say who was like, oh, mm -hmm. let's look at this house. That was like a lot more than what I was asking for. And then she's like, you could just ask your grandmother for more money. And Daniel knew how pissed off I was about that. I would. And it's like, no, it's not like that. Like, you can't just ask for more money. Like, the fuck? I like the crust. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, I can't just ask for more. Like, who the hell are you? My grandma's on a Western Union. I have more respect for that. And for her. More respect for her and more pride for me. And my grandma's not a Western Union. You know, like, that's not... I'm, I'm, I'm too respectful than that to be like that. Some people are like the People that I used to hang around with. That I choose not to be friends with. They were like that. Or they were like that once upon a time. I choose not to hang around people like that anymore, to my knowledge. Like, if I know somebody's like that, I would run the other way and keep on me. And so right now, our wedding has... Oh, it's going to let's see. So I use Zola for... The majority of our wedding stuff because I like it. That's why I got in there. Let me in. God, I'm not in those. No! So, our wedding right now. So, what happened was the list we originally had was going to be. I was really thinking that I was going to be able to have so hard. I was hoping ideally that we were going to be able to have like a hundred people or fifty something. You know, the normal size wedding, fifty to one hundred guests. You know, I'm about to cry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I'm probably going to cry right now. I was anticipating to invite my closer family from my dad's side because my dad's, my both my parents are dead. But I was originally going to invite my cousins that are not invited. Like I have a whole bunch of cousins on my mom's side. And then my other cousins, because I have two aunts, and both of them have children that are adults, and they have their partners or wives or husbands or whatever, and then their children. And then I have family all over New York that I really wanted to invite, people that I've been to their weddings, and I can't invite them. And Daniel has two aunts, and both aunts have adult children, and then some of them are married and have kids. Forget that, you can't do that. Daniel's not even inviting both of his aunts, he's only inviting one of them. And luckily, she's single, so that's one person. I don't know, if she wasn't single, we would have invited that person. But she's single. And then, like, thankfully, my uncle's single. But, like, my grandma, obviously, she's single. And I haven't, yeah, my uncle. My mom's brother. And then, like, so there's a ton of people that I can't invite. There's a bunch of people Daniel can't even invite. And so, I because I don't want to have, like, nobody at my wedding, 
you were trying to pick the people that you were the closest with, that, like, el respect for elderly, because I know, like, my mom's side of the family always are like, you have to, like, the Italian side are like, you have to respect your elders. So, of course, I had to invite my aunt, because she's the one aunt, mom's aunt, these are my mom's aunts. My mom doesn't have any, like, immediate sister. She has a bunch of half siblings, which I can't afford to invite. So, like, I have a huge family and a huge extended family, and I can only invite a, a fraction of people. Then there's family feuding on my side of the family. And then there's family feuding on a little bit on his side of the family. So, I mean, so let me go back to my phone. So, I'm. I only have 35 people that were inviting. 35 people, which to me is right now financially too many. But my grandma originally told me when I realized how much things were going to cost, and we had to cut out, we had to, I had to throw out my first list, sort another one, throw out that list, sort another one. And then it got to the point for my family alone where it was like, you can't invite this person and not invite that person. You can't invite this person and not invite that person. And I'm like, shit. Fuck. Fuck shit. Then when we got to 33, because Daniel and I believe in the Illuminati, we're like, we can't have 33. We need to add somebody else. So... But we're at 35 and that's it. The only... Like, that's it. And there's people where I'm, like, just inviting them. Like, I can't invite their kids. It's just you and only you. And then there's, like, people in my family that... And it's my family, because my family has big mouths. Couldn't already tell that's where I got my from. Okay, but it's a big mouth. So... I've already had complaints where, like, why are you inviting them and you're not inviting my kids? Why are you inviting them and you're not inviting these people instead? Why are you, you know, I get a lot of that crap and I've, like, had it up to here. Yeah, no, like, it don't come. I'm trying really hard not to sit these people together because. You know, you're going to still be there. If you're still, if you come, you're still going to be in the same room as this person. But I'm trying really hard not to sit them together. And I told Daniel, we're going to need some people, like his bouncers, like bodyguards, like his cousin Steve's huge. So um, he's like, don't worry, Steve won't take care of it. So if anybody starts any kind of crap around wedding, Steve will pull them out. <laughs> or whatever, or somebody, you know, we're going to have somebody to watch out because I'm not dealing with this crap and I don't have time for the theater and I don't want to deal with that. And I invited like the main idea is like immediate family and because both my parents are dead I felt it was the only person alive, the, the, the closest person so the person closest to me from my dad's side who's still alive is my dad's middle sister, my Aunt Anna, and she lives all the way in Israel. And I can't even afford to buy it to pay for her to come here. I hope she understands like she will understand that. And it hurts my feelings because I can't do that. But again, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. My parents could have done it back in the day, but I can't do that. Or I can't do it now. Ask me Five years ago, no, not five years ago, ask me a few years ago, or like 20 years ago, and I'd be like, God, have, but I can't do it now. So, I can't. She's the closest person to me from my dad. God willing, she'll still be here then, because they're bombing all the time by her home. She's like coming here, hopefully. So, like, my two great aunts, and I invited um, one of my cousins and his wife. And if they have the, if they don't have a babysitter for the baby that was born not that long ago, they can bring the baby to, but not the baby. Because my cousin's the one that sent me the gift 
the surprise engagement gap that I wasn't expecting, and I was like really touched by that. And I wasn't going, um, in all honesty, I wasn't going to. And then when they sent us a gift, I was like, oh my God, Danielle, I have to invite them because that was so nice. And I explained to his mother that I can't invite her, but I'm inviting him and his wife because it's easier for me to invite them to, especially because there's so much feuding in the family, not realizing there was more feuding in the family than I thought there was. And I'm like, I can't, I can't please everybody. I can't appease to everybody. And I don't have any issues with them. Um, I think they're really nice people. If anybody has any issues with anybody, I don't care. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have to apologize. And people, some people are like, you shouldn't have to apologize and explain what, who you're inviting and why. But then some people are like, well, if you're inviting them, you shouldn't be inviting this person and that person. And I'm like, to myself, are you paying for my wedding? No. And then I invited my bestest friend since I was a little girl. And we're like, my old, my longest friend, because I couldn't, I, I wasn't going, again, I wasn't going to, and then I was like, I have to, because if it was the other way around, I would want to be in her wedding. <laughs> and she's just one person. I invited another good friend of mine from high school in New York. I didn't invite anybody from Connecticut because I'm not as close with them anymore, but I love my friends from, high, from college in Connecticut. But I literally invited, like, that's pretty much it. Like, I decided to invite a little bit of this and a little bit of that, like a nice sample. And again, if anybody, if anybody has a problem, that's their problem. But like, if I do, you'll have any picking, picking and choosy. Like, it's a really, really small wedding. It might piss some people off that we're having a DJ. But again, it's like, we got the cheapest of the cheaps. And Daniel insists on getting a DJ. I was willing to do it myself and play my own music. And he was like, no, it'll be better. We don't have to work and stuff. We'll just do it. And he wants to get a photographer, but we're not getting a videographer. Because he said it would be nice to have somebody, again, take professional photos of us. And that was something he was willing to save up for, but I still have not want to do that. He's planning on paying more though. I have, I have like a, a thing he's paying into. It's our wedding, it's our decision. I was willing to do whatever, like just play our own, like play my own music. I actually set up a playlist on my YouTube. A wedding music playlist of all the songs I wanted played on our wedding and stuff. Like the main ones, I have like hundreds of songs or something. And he was insisted, and I was like, okay, I do not. It's our wedding, and it's our decision, and it's that, and that's that. And I don't want to hear anybody's two cents about it. Because, like, I've had it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's my story. I don't know if anybody can relate to it. Has anyone else had like a nightmare of a wedding planning like that? Uh, I hope I didn't bore you. I figured I would put it up there for you. Hoping somebody can relate or understand. Or to share just like the wedding drama. I did a video a while ago, but I think like when I did it, I was in a different mind frame and I was more upset and more emotional and kind of nasty about it. And I think expressing it this way is probably better. I was going to do like my makeup and stuff and then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to yeah, sit here and be straight with you about it and let you know how it goes and what that's all about and yeah but that's that but yeah honestly yeah i've been really stressing out i told you my phone is fully really charged but that's that and i will throw this video up there i'm gonna be doing like a little 
a little wedding series, please subscribe to my channel. I almost said my old name. I want to buy the short because we're vibing and thriving. I'm vibing and thriving. Woo -woo. And like this video if you like it. Like this video if you like it. Say hi to Shaq. Where is he? He's over here. It's Shaq from Moon Day. And comment below if you don't know what to say. Say anything. Leave emojis. Share this with everybody you know. And subscribe, like, I always forget. Subscribe, like, and share, and comment. And I'll see you all soon. Oh, don't forget to watch my other videos, and I hope you stay here. And stay, and stay, and listen to the whole story. Whole story. I'm actually dressed for a change. Well, I'm wearing t-shirts and shorts and my sports bra. And I'll try to flash you. Bye!